an extended black chicken, heterozygous for recessive Wheaton, is the first parent. So they're going to have a capital E in their genotype, followed by EY. The other parent is recessive Wheaton, heterozygous for Queen Sylvia. So the first allele is EY, and the next one is EQ. They have 12 offspring. What would be the expected numbers of each color of the chicks? We need to put their alleles into a Punnett square to find out. So we have capital E from the first parent and an EY. On the other side, we have EY and EQ. We'll bring them together through fertilization. We have an E, EY, then EY, EY, E, EQ, and E, Y, E, Q. We always write the most dominant allele first. We have two dominant offspring. Both contain a capital E, so they're both extended black. In lowest terms, that's one out of two. So one half of the Punnett square indicates that half their offspring will be extended black. Now we wanna know how many out of 12 are going to be extended black. So we're gonna multiply one half or 0.5 times 12 to get six extended black. Our other two genotypes in the Punnett square have an EY as their first allele, which means both of those are recessive Wheaton. And there, it is two out of four, which is the same as one half. So one half of them are recessive Wheaton. We'll multiply that one half by 12 to find out how many offspring are recessive Wheaton, and our answer is six. So we have six extended black and six recessive Wheaton offspring.